Hi Potter friends! Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I've posted a video, but with everything going on with this coronavirus and I'm just super busy with work and trying to sell my home at the same time, it's just been super stressful. Uh, but I hope you all are staying healthy and safe and trying to stay indoors as much as you can. Cannot wait till this passes. But I decided today to jump on, hopefully to bring all of you a little Lumos. Uh, but I wanted to share with you guys my pin collection. I started collecting pins probably three months ago only and I am a complete addict now. I love all of these pins and I want so many more. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys, I have a lot here. So a lot of them are sets. So I'll kind of show you the sets together so this video isn't an hour long. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Rachel over at Keepers for Seekers. I also have an Instagram page where I post uh, daily magical photos and content, so if you want to check that out, my handle there is also Keepers for Seekers. And if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of any future content that I release as well here. So let's get into it. I will show you guys some close-ups um, so you can kind of see all of the pins closer and I will try my best to list where I got them or who created them. Some I may not remember but I will read the backs of all the pins if they say so if you guys are interested you can get yourself one. Alright let's get started. Alright you guys so I figured I would start off with my biggest collection set. Um, this is a set of 16 pins from Swish and Flick. Uh, they are Weasley's Wizard Wheezes theme, which is amazing. Right up my alley, they're like my favorite. So let's get up close and get some good shots of each one real quick. Okay, so the first pin we have in the collection is the biggest. It's Fred and George, and it says double trouble around the edges here. Uh, it's a very heavy pin. It actually has three pins in the back. Uh, I absolutely love this. They each have their own color tie, purple and orange. It's just a really nice pin overall to represent uh, their joke shop. Next, we have the nose biting teacup. This one's so cute. You can see the teeth at the top and even this little tooth here is cracked. It's really nice. We have the classic Weasley fireworks here. You can see each firework actually has its own name like Thestral Thrasher, Bogart Banger, Peace Disturber, Mayhem Rocket, etc. It is so cool. I love how colorful it is. These pins just make me so happy. We also have the classic decoy detonator, which is so cool. Looks like the one from the movies, and I love um, the yellow bolts here to symbolize the noise that it's making. Next is another big pin in the collection. Um, it has the Fever Fudge, Puking Pastels, uh, Fainting Fancies, No Bleed Nougat, and Tongue Toffee. Again, this one's super colorful. I love how the packaging looks. It's just really well made. Next is the smallest pin in the collection. It is the ice cream shop, uh, kind of symbol outside of the ice cream shop. The green and brown. It's very cute. We have the classic Mayhem This Way hand. Uh, I totally think of the joke shop. I think of this. Orange and purple. Really nice. Next we have a Weasley and Weasley briefcase with their skeeving snack boxes here. Simple but cute. I love this next pin. It represents the extendable ears. Um, and I love how in the middle here, the string makes up a heart. It's just super cute, super on point. I like it a lot. Moving on, we have this screaming yo-yo. This one's so cool. I love how the teeth and the tongue are. Um, and I love how there's just a bit of string to represent the yo-yo here. It's a really funny pit and I like it a lot. We also have the Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder Pin. It's purple, bottle. You can see the, there's a skull in the word powder. It's really nice. We also have the hilarious You Know Poo. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. 
It's so funny. And it has the little Weasley W in the corner. The details are just crazy on these pins. They are amazing. One of my favorites in the collection is the Fanged Frisbee. I have a replica of the Fanged Frisbee, so I just love the pin. They look just alike. You can see the fangs around the edges. The little eye of the monster there. It's just really cool. I like it. Next we have the classic Dung Bomb. This is probably one of the first things I think of when I think of Fred and George. It's really nice, really funny. Had to be part of their collection for sure. We also have a Pygmy Puff in the collection. It is so cute. I have an actual Pygmy Puff replica and it's pink. So I'm so happy this one came in purple. You can see it has the little Luna Love Good glasses on. It's absolutely adorable. Last but not least is the rabbit in a hat pin. It is so cool because it actually moves up and down. So the rabbit can go in the hat or it can come out of the hat. So clever. Again, these are all so well made. I absolutely love this collection. So I recently just got all of these. They're the newest in my collection and some of my favorites for sure. So let's go ahead and move on to the next set. So the next set in my collection are the Loot Crate Horcrux set. They are really cool. They represent all seven Horcruxes from the series. Um, I didn't actually get the Loot Crates. I found these on various websites. Uh, mostly Macari is what I use to find them just because they're a lot cheaper and if someone doesn't want theirs, I will take it as long as it's in good condition. So let's take a closer look at these. Okay, so first up we have Tom Riddle's Diary. This one's so cool because it's a chain pin. So you can actually take the basilisk thing out. There is a hole straight through the pin. So you can either pin it with it hanging or you can stick it right into the book. Super cool. I love this concept. The next pin we have here is the Family Gaunt Ring. It's very big. Pretty accurate to the movie. Next we have Hufflepuff's Cup. I love this one because you can see all of the details. You can see the badger here really well. All this detailing is just really well made for a pin, I think. A lot of details. Next we have Slytherin's Locket. You can see the green emerald inside. It obviously does not open or anything like that. It just is the front of the locket. Next, we have the diadem. It's super pretty, super accurate. See all the blue gems, even here, the little tiny blue gems. Even has the quote on it. Next, we have the one that represents Harry. So it is a lightning bolt. And it has the quote, neither can live while the other survives. This is not my favorite one, but I guess it was a clever way to represent Harry since he was a Horcrux. And last but not least, but definitely my favorite is Nagini. This one is epic. The detailing of the actual snake, you can see the fangs there, the eyes, is so cool. But then the sword, can actually remove from the head and the sword itself. Oh my gosh, I love it. You can see it says Godric Gryffindor right here. It has the red on the handles. It's just so pretty. Then you can just put it back in. I love these chain pins, they're so cool. So that's it for the Horcrux collection. So let's move on. Okay, so these next two pins I got um, from Muggleborn Sisters. Definitely check them out. Super cute pins. I actually won this pin in a giveaway. Represents Honeydukes, all the candy, the beans, birdie bots, chocolate frog, chocolate frog card. This one is just so colorful and cute. Love it. And the other one that I actually purchased from their site um, is another Mayhem This Way. I loved the W up here. Uh, symbolizing the choke shop and then how the hand is on the chain. I just thought it was really clever, nicely made. 
Kind of sticking with the joke shop theme, here is another extendable ears pin that I have. They're very shiny and they say extendable and the other one says ears. I love this one. Also another chain one. And this is by King Cross Station on Etsy, I believe. So these next four I actually got from the Kelly Lou shop. I know that she coordinated with a few shops on some of these. Um, so if you're interested, definitely look them up um, so you can, you know, see what other shops that she works with and makes these because they're some of my favorite. They're just so amazing. They're colorful, they're clever. Some of my favorites here. So this first one is the Potter Stinks pin, obviously from the Goblet of Fire. Also from her shop is the Ronald Weasley Howler. This one is so funny to me. I got the glitter version. She has one without glitter as well, but who doesn't love glitter? Next, I have the Bubble Boy and Puking Pastels Girl pins. They're so cute. Some of my favorites. I have the bookends of these, and they're like one of my favorite things in my collection. So when I saw these, I had to get them. These are probably my favorite in my collection. I have a lot of favorites, but these are just so amazing. They're from Geek Gear. Um, I found them on the Macari app. They came in like a box set together and someone was selling them because he was gifted them and it was the wrong house. He wasn't a Hufflepuff and he only sold them for eight bucks together. I could not believe it. But this is the head girl pin. It is so pretty. You can see the yellow better there with the light. Same thing for head boy. All around really nice. Now this was my very first pin ever. And when I saw it, I just had to have it and it got me hooked on pins. It is so funny to me. My favorite character is Dumbledore and I just love how witty he is. And he just has his own sense of humor. So when he says, Alas, you wax. <laughs> it just cracks me up. So when I saw this one, I loved how colorful it was and it just made me laugh. So this is where my pin addiction started. If you know me, I am obsessed with tacos. I eat them all of the time. They're my favorite food. But of course, I'm also obsessed with Harry Potter. So Kim Tree Creative actually created this pin and it says, you're a taco, Harry. And I just thought it was hilarious. Such a cute play on tacos and Harry Potter, two of my favorite things. So it was a must have. So these next ones aren't actually a set, um, but they're all DA related, Dumbledore's Army. Um, these I did get from the Dumbledore's Army headquarters page. Two pins, white and black. I love the symbol in the middle and you can actually feel all of the ridging in there. It's really nice. This is a Wizarding World official pin. It has the DA and then it says Dumbledore's Army around it. And then it has like the Dumbledore's Army list with a few of the signatures and silhouettes of the people. It's just a nice little pin, super heavy too. Okay, this pin I got from a Geek Gear box. Cherry Wallace's Curation for Magical Curiosities. It was the Christmas box this year. Well, last year, I should say. Um, and it's really cute. It's a wreath, H for Hogwarts. It has the little thunderbolt, the snitch, and then all the gems represent the houses. And then if you can see, there is the Deathly Hallow symbol at the bottom there. This next pin is a prophecy pin. I absolutely love it. I did get it on Macari, so I'm not sure who made it. It just says Warner Brothers Entertainment on the back, but it is so cool. I love how the prophecy looks kind of foggy and glossy. Makes it very realistic. This is a tiny little Death Eater pin that I found on Etsy. I am blanking on the name of the store. If you're interested in purchasing it, just message me and I will look it up for you. But it's very small, but it's very detailed with all of the, the lines, the eyes. I really like this. Okay, so this next pin is a Ministry of Magic pin. It's very heavy. It looks like a wax seal, so that's really cool. You can see how the edging isn't even. 
That's the Ministry of Magic mark and symbol in the middle. And this is a Wizarding World official pin. Really cool. Okay, so here is a Hedwig pin. This is also from Loot Crate. Again, I did not get it from them. <laughs> I got it from Makari. But it is Hedwig. And you can actually read on the envelope, it does say Harry Potter. I'm not sure if you can see it here. But it's pretty cute. I'm honestly not in love with this pin. I think the gold on the face kind of overrides everything. I think it could have been done a little better. Also, the feet are like bright yellow, and I just think they could have done a kind of more orangey yellow. Okay, so this is my what I call flag set. Um, I didn't get them all together. I did get them all in Macari though. Um, this one I got first. It was the second pin I've ever owned. It's just a Gryffindor flag pin. Um, and I was told that this is the G from the Cursed Child. That's their symbol for Gryffindor. So that's pretty cool. Here is a set of four that came together. Here is the Slytherin flag. The Gryffindor flag. The Hufflepuff flag. Last but not least, the Ravenclaw flag. Okay, so this is a Hufflepuff crest pin that I actually got from my rep, um, Sweet Melissa's gifts and etc. Um, let me hold it up close. You can see the detailing of the badger. It says Hufflepuff and has the flag in the background. It is small, but it's very cute. All right, you guys, I think this is my last pin. So I got this one for free. I actually ordered some pins from someone on Macari, and they actually sent me this pin in addition to my order for free, um, which was very sweet of them. Um, this is the cat from Fantastic Beasts. Uh, I forget, I'm blanking on the name. Um, it is basically a guard cat in the Ministry of Magic in Fantastic Beasts. So that was my pin collection. I'm happy with how it's coming along. I'm a little obsessed, so I'm probably buying them more often than I should, but they're just so cute. I love them all. Um, currently I have them in my office on a cork board uh, that I use for work. Um, I'm hoping to buy some cooler kind of pin holders in the future, uh, but for now that's where they live. So let me know in the comments below which one of my pins was your absolute favorite. Or if do you have any of these pins, I'd love to know. Comment, comment, comment. Anyways, uh, that's all for today. I hope you guys, again, are staying safe and healthy during this time. Uh, we just need to stick together and keep reaching out. So I hope this video brings you all joy. I will see you next time.